Now, the next part is maybe going to be a little bit more difficult because it's going to be unguided. So okay. what I'd like you to do at this point is to verbalize your thoughts. In other mm -hmm. words, what are you thinking? Uh, what are you considering, etc.? Just narrate it um, okay. out loud for me. Um, so that I can sort of assess what you're, uh, you know, like, so that I know how you're approaching the, uh, approaching the task at hand. Yep. Yep. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Excellent. And, uh, so for the guided usability test, your task, right, is mm -hmm. to, uh, is to launch a fungible token, um, on the Hedera test net. And the clue is that the script has been provided for you already um, that gets you almost all the way. And it's inside the SRC folder within this, uh, within this repo. So take it away. Okay. Great. Thank you. So I see here that in my source folder, I have a JavaScript file that seems to have a lot of code already done for me. The first thing that I'm going to do is probably read a little bit about it and figure out if the comments are going to tell me anything. So here I see that we have a function called script five minute HTS token launch challenge. It's reading some environment variables. It's initializing the operator accounts, which look like they're coming out of the .env file. And um, let's see, it's taking that information, saving it into these variable names. And it looks like this is going to be setting up a client. I'm not quite sure what a client is going to do just yet, but it looks like it really needed that operator ID, which was in my environment variable and a key as well. Here it looks like we're setting the token name, token symbol, and uh, there's a lot more code. So I think I'd like to just start figuring out what it does. So I'm gonna try and run it. I'm gonna clear my console really quick. I'm going to use node and, uh, oh, check my directory first. Looks like I'm not in the right directory. So I'm gonna change into the source folder. Then I'll use node um, to execute this JavaScript file. Mm -hmm. So here it says, welcome to the challenge. It's reading from the environment file. I can see my account configuring new HTS token. Looks like I can click on this, see where it takes me. Okay, so it looks like this is where I am in the code at the moment. So I expect that it's gonna run all of this. Um, let me go ahead and hit enter to proceed. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like I got an error. Uh, let's see. Error must configure a name, a symbol, and initial supply for the new token at this line. Let me go ahead and click on that. Oh, yeah. So it looks like it doesn't like these empty strings right here. So I'm going to have to give my token name a name. Uh, I'll just call it test token. And symbol will be TST. Go ahead and save that file. And let me just run it again, see if I run into any other errors. Gonna hit enter again. Oh, looks like I forgot the initial supply. So didn't like zero. Go ahead and set that to 7,000. Try to run that again. At this point, I'm kind of thinking if there's a set of instructions that maybe I should have been following. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at this README. There's a lot of words here, so it's... Okay, so I'm going to abandon the README for now, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna continue looking at the purples because the purple seems friendly. Creating the new HTS token, hit the return key when I'm ready to proceed. So it looks like I was actually able to get past one of my errors and the transaction ID was created and here's a URL that I could click on. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. 
it uh, looks like this hash scan looks a little interesting. Everything's none. That doesn't seem right to me. I'm not quite sure why though. I'm gonna continue creating the new HTS token. Oh, look at that. Now there's a new uh, token ID. So it looks like wait, here we were just configuring something. Um, now I'd like to view it. Yes, I'd like to view this on hash scan. So, oh, look at that. So I completed the challenge. If I go back to hash scan, I can see that here's the name of my token. Here's the symbol. And my supply of 7,000 is where it's supposed to be. Looks like there's some summary metrics. I wonder what that does. Has completed a task. Looks like it's true. I was successful in doing that. Completed the first task named five minute HTS token launch challenge. Took me nine minutes. And looks like I completed some more tasks. Okay. It looks like I can see my metrics on Hashscan. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'd like to come back to the facilitator and sort yep. of show that I finished. And if there's anything else that you'd like